all right guys so today's video is about fit pro auto disconnection problem if you have problem of t55 smartwatch not connecting with fit pro app i'm going to show you how you can do that in this video without wasting much of your time let's get down to business all right the first thing to do here is to make sure your fit pro app can access your location grant location permission to fit pro app you can also swipe down your menu and switch on your location or gps here so now you have the data the bluetooth and the location or gps turned on once you turn these three on your fit pro app is going to connect to your t55 smartwatch or any smartwatch that is using fit pro app once you have done that and it is still not connecting the next thing i would advise you to do is to go to the smartwatch and turn on bluetooth okay so as you can see the smartwatch here let's go to the settings like this then swipe down a bit and you are going to see this icon here so toggle on that icon and you are going to see on and off turn it on when you have turned that option on the bluetooth of your fit pro watch or t55 smartwatch is now on you can now continue with the procedure and it's going to connect automatically and if that doesn't work yet the next thing i would advise you to do is to go to the setting of your smartphone okay now once you launch the fit pro app like this go to the set option down here as you can see select set and as you can see i have my device disconnected and scroll down and you are going to see background settings all right select background settings you are going to see umidigi okay it must show the name of your smartphone all right here now let me show you quickly something let's go back a bit you go back and connect it by selecting the bind device here when you select bind device it's going to search for any watch that is around you as you can see our smartwatch t55 is here so you are going to select that and you are going to see that it's going to connect as you can see fit pro connected up here that shows it has connected to our T55 smartwatch. Now we have peering request here. As you can see, tap. So let's peer it up so that you can have call with your T55 smartwatch. As you can see, select got it. And once you have done that, now let's go to the shortcut menu of our smartphone and see the Bluetooth. T55 has well audio Bluetooth connected. That means it has been connected for call. You can use it to call like this and it's going to go through. Now you have done that, go to your setting once again, go to the set and use the find option to confirm that it is connected. As you can see, it is now ringing. Good. Next thing to do here is to go down here and select background settings. You will be taken to the system's permission settings page. Here, you are going to see your phone brand as I have just said before. As you can see, my phone brand is Umidigi. As you can see, Umidigi here. Now, the next thing to do is to select self-start permission here and select one button open. When you select that, it's going to open app info for Fit Pro app. Once you see that, please give permission to Fit Pro app by going down here and select permission. When you select permission, as you can see, it allow location permission for FitPro app, but the rest being denied. So you have to toggle on all this for FitPro app by what selecting the call log and select allow. And once you have done that, select go back and you are going to see it has allow the call log. Now select camera, allow, then go back and select it. Just do the same thing to the contact so that your FitPro app is going to have access to all these permissions okay as you can see just do the same thing for the sms and also storage allow it to access it and once you have done that you have allowed it this way then you can now go back let's go out once again and we are done with the self start permission page now you select the second option which says notification privilege here and you select that select the one button options again and you can see it says the notice has been opened. That means 
this has been done. Next thing to do is to go to the last one, which is electronic power limit. So when you select that, you are going to see go off to power limit, select one button open. It's going to ask for permission to allow FitPro app to run in the background. You select allow. When select allow, it's going to give permission to the FitPro app so that it is going to run in the background. So your phone will not kill FitPro app when it is running in the background. Once you have done that, let's confirm once again. As you can see, it has closed power mode. So that is it. Now you can go out and do your settings. You should be able to use your T55 smartwatch for anything that you want. So now if you want to do your WhatsApp messages, just come here and do your WhatsApp push option message. Come here and select everything toggle on. Make sure your WhatsApp is toggle on like this and select every other ones that you want like Facebook. Give it the permission. When you open it, go to your FitPro app and toggle on the permission and allow. Once you allow that, go back once again and toggle it on once again so that I can receive the notifications. As you can see, it is committing here, now set successfully. Same thing applies to Twitter. You can do the same thing to Twitter and you're going to get messages of Twitter on your smartwatch. Turn on the call reminder on. You can see it is turned on already. That is why it is gray out because you have set it period to this time. Now for SMS, you can turn it on also and it's going to get you SMS messages on your smart watch. For WeChat, if you have WeChat, you can turn it on and every other one that you want. For Instagram, you can do the same thing. So that is how to fix your FitPro auto disconnection problem or FitPro of T55 smartwatch not connecting with FitPro app. Bye.